as you can see, we're at PES Engineering. Now, we have visited Martin a number of times. This time, he's made another investment. It's given him a few opportunities and a few challenges. So let's find out what it was and how he's overcome those challenges. As I said, we're at PES Engineering. We're with Martin. Now, Martin, you're known primarily as a miller and a fixed head turner, but the eagle-eyed amongst us will see that this is a Citizen Syncom L32 Type 10 with LFV. Hopefully, I've got that right. Why have you done that? Uh, primarily technology upgrades and also to give us flexibility. Um, this machine can do one hit operation. Okay, so when you say technology upgrade, what does that actually mean to you? Um, I chose the 32 uh, with the expansion kit to take us up to 38. Um, it's fast. Uh, you know, speed is always a thing in machining and it certainly is fast. Okay, when you say faster, we'll look at components later, but an example, you might have been doing something on your fixed head machine previously. Two ops, five minutes? Absolutely. I mean, you know, we can get this off in one hit. Uh, Concentricity is better, quality is better, um, and we can make a more complicated part um, probably up to twice as fast because a sliding head doesn't actually move very far. So it's making you a lot more efficient. Absolutely. Now, this is your first sort of toe in the water with a sliding head machine. Why have you gone citizen? Um, They've been in the market a long while. Obviously, LFV has been a game changer for Swarf Control. Um, and I felt that they offered us the full package with the support as well. Okay, and I understand recommendations as well from other engineers around the area? Absolutely, I have a good friend who's got 13 citizens. Now, you're new to slide head technology, is that correct? Absolutely, I mean, I've resisted the challenge for some years, thinking that it was inflexible and would take a long while to set. Uh, that's been proved wrong. Okay, so getting in there, getting it set. But if there are issues on the phone, email into Citizen? If I email them, I'll have a response within half an hour or maybe a phone call within five minutes. Right, so you know you're going to get that sales and support. Well, the support, you've obviously got the sales. How easy is it to use the Alcart Wizard? Uh, I'm a newbie. It's very simple. Um, at my age, um, that sort of technology could be a problem in the past. Um, it's, it's wizard driven. Um, just put in what you want, how you want, how you want to do it, and it gives you the feedback of the code. Okay, now looking in the machine envelope, right, there's a lot going on here. We won't go through everything because you could speak to Neil who sold it to you or get the brochure, obviously. But you've got the Type 10. Why is that? Um, I want you to be, again, the word flexible, um, as flexible as what I could. I also wanted to be able to do milling on both spindles, and the Type 10 allows you to do that. Right, so you've got driven tool in front and back, essentially. Absolutely. And ax uh, Y-axis on both spindles? Yes, correct. So that's going to give you the ability to make some super complex parts when required? Absolutely. You know, again, most of the stuff I've made so far hasn't been particularly difficult. That said, if you haven't got the right type of technology, you can't do it going forward. Okay, and you're known as sort of smaller batterons, so you're always looking for bigger batterons, and this gives you that flexibility? Definitely. I mean, obviously... Um, I generally do stock control and sell things monthly, um, but yeah, I'm waiting for the bigger orders. You've got a 32 option as well, so I'm assuming 32 mil bar, that's pretty obvious, but you can go larger and it's on the main and sub spindle? Yeah, absolutely. Again, you know, in the earlier models, um, there was size uh, problems with the sub spindle, but now um, you can get a lot bigger, so it means we can take um, the part off complete. Now, in terms of the parts you're manufacturing, we alluded to earlier, bringing the cycle times down, but you've got some nice parts. First of all, the part you're making, well, in Delrin, because that was potentially going to be made with an injection moulding system. Absolutely. I mean, my challenge was to try and get the price cheaper so we can machine it and, again, add that flexibility should the client want to change it. Um, unfortunately, with moulding it, um, once the mould's made, that flexibility is going to cost a lot of money. Right, so it's very easy, like you've got the design come in, very easy to change in terms of where you're milling, turning, drilling, whatever it may be. Absolutely, add another feature, 10 minutes, we're away. Okay, and you've got another, it's not complex part, but very thin walls. Yeah, I mean, uh, that particular component, also out of plastic, um, acetal, um, stringy, um, problematic with a swarf, um, and only a thin wall. So, um, yeah, run a 1500 off, um, unmanned effectively. Okay, and easy when you take it from main to sub spindle, holding that part because obviously it's very thin walls. Uh, I would say um, holding less than 20 microns. Nice and simple. Now you've got a couple of other parts here as well. Now you mentioned to me earlier link threading. What were you doing there? Um, something new to me, obviously not knowing the technical challenges of a sliding head. Um, yeah, basically um, break the longer thread in, into small sections um, and just join it up into a long, long part. And 
60 millimeters long on this occasion. Right, so nice and easy and no mismatch in terms of the string? No, none. So you're very relaxable about it, even though you're new on the machine. And then finally, you had a part where you're uh, broaching it. Yeah, I mean, you know, broaching has been in the industry quite a long years um, to do keyways and things like that. But again, you know, finished component, um, one hit. Whereas before? Could have been three operations if you go back long enough. Right, so in a nutshell, this is made, well, it's giving you a lot more flexibility. Uh, total flexibility and also as well with the keyway, it can be timed. Whereas before, if it was done separate operations, you'd have to jig it, etc. Right. Whereas this, with the C-axis, um, we can hold higher tolerances. There you go. So overall, are you happy with this purchase? Absolutely. And do you wish you'd done it before? Of course. There you go. There you go. Martin from PES Engineering wishing he bought his Citizen machine a lot, lot sooner. Thank you very much. Thank you.